You may be seated. You may want to leave your hymnals open to joy to the world because as I go through my message, I'm going to refer to a couple places in the hymn that tie into the Bible message also. Well, there's just something different about Christmas. Would you would you agree? I mean, the the music and the lights and the gifts. And most people I think would say if you if you asked them a question, if you did a man on the street interview, if you asked them what is the most joyful time of the year, they would say now, they would say Christmas time. You know, like Andy Williams, the, the singer, sings a song, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and you know, you could he could have just as easily saying it's the most joyful time of the year. And while I remember him remember watching him on TV. I don't really remember much about uh, the show, but I do remember the, the dancing bear that he used to have. And the dancing bear has the other thing that's so great about Christmas. Of course, the first one is joy, but there's one other good thing about Christmas. And let's hear the, the, the bear tell. <laughs> Lots of cookies, but at Christmas time, I mean, there are cookies. Everybody's got cookies. There are cookies everywhere. And uh, I mean, is there any other time that we have both joy and and cookies? Well, for Christmas, for most people, it, it's a joyful time of the year. Back in 1719, a hymn writer named Isaac Watts wrote a hymn that we just sang that came to be called Joy to the World. Now, the, the interesting thing about this song, this hymn, the only stanza, the only verse that's related to Christmas and the birth of Jesus is the very first one that announces the Lord is come. I mean, there's no mention of Mary, there's no mention of Joseph, the angel, the shepherds, the manger, or the wise men. Yet, it, it's one of the most loved Christmas carols because it really captures what Christmas is all about. And Christmas is all about joy. Now, Isaac Watts was right when he, when he titled it Joy to the World for Christmas, it is not just joy to us here, or the county, or the United States. 
It is joy to the world, universal joy for all people. And joy is a part of Christmas because the angel in Luke's Christmas story said this in verse 10. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. See, it says right here very clearly, don't miss it. The, the angel announced good news of great joy. And we have to look to verse 11 to see what the good news is all about. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Now, verse 11 contains something very unique. This is the only place in the Bible where these three words come together. Savior, Messiah, or Christ and Lord come together in one verse. This is the only place that you'll find it in the Bible. Well, why is this important? Because it sums up what Jesus is all about for us, for the church, and for the world. See, Christmas is telling us that a Savior, a Messiah, came to earth for us. And that baby, the baby Jesus, is the Messiah, the promised deliverer of the Jewish people that was prophesied in the Old Testament. See, Christmas is telling us that a Savior is, has come to earth for us. But Jesus is much more than that. He is the leader of the Christian church. And because of his sacrifice on the cross, he is the savior of men and women, not just the Jewish people. And then Lord means that he is one with God Almighty. And God Almighty is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And everything that we need is found right here in that verse. Everything that the world needs is in that verse. Everything about Christmas is found right here along with verse 12. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. See, verse 12 tells us why Christmas truly is a time of joy to the world. On the night when the baby was born, Jesus came from the heavens to the earth through his mother's womb. And on that night, an angel appeared to some shepherds out in the fields and said to them in verse 10, Do not be afraid, listen carefully, for I am proclaiming to you Good news that brings great joy to all the people. And see, those, those poor, unsuspecting shepherds out there in that field were hearing the song of praise that we've been singing ever since. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and nature sing. 
It doesn't get any better than that. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let the earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. See, the king has come at Christmas. And with this baby, fullness of joy was born for all who would believe. Now those who rejoice at Jesus' coming still will have suffering in this life, will still have problems. But the weakness and the pain and the misery that we have sometimes is nothing compared to the glories that we will have in heaven. And we who are Christians have nothing to fear, nothing to lose, and everything to gain. Because everything is already waiting for us in heaven. And so, in Joy to the World, in verse 3, it says, No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found. See, nothing in this world can reverse or diminish your joy in Jesus. No sin, no sorrow can separate you from him and the everlasting happiness that Jesus brings. The baby that was born in Bethlehem was to die in our place. And he went to the cross and he received the wrath that we deserve for our sin. He died to purchase the joy that we have that the angels announced at his birth. And three days later, he rose from the dead. And verse 4 of Joy to the World begins like this. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and the wonders of his love. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. See, Jesus was born and died so that we could have a world of worship and joy. And because he came to this birth, came to this earth as a baby, we live and sing and enjoy God in heaven forever. But the angel said to them, don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy. That will be for all people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior was born for you who is, who is the Messiah of the Lord. And as that great theologian would say, Linus, would say to Charlie Brown, that's what Christmas is all about. So don't be afraid. <clears throat> Have joy today, tomorrow, and the rest of your lives. Because that's what Christmas is all about. Amen.